Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve from GPS Electrical Services. So just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, I've been called to a property today to have a look at why a light isn't working. A couple of people have tried to remove the, the light bulb and just can't. So they followed my video that I've created, how to remove um, a recessed down light. Um, unfortunately, it's been a little bit stubborn, hence why I'm here. So I'm just going to sp uh, spin you around on the camera so that you can take a look and see what's going on. As you can see, this is what we're dealing with, a, a recessed down light um, in a flat roof. It's not flat, but there's no access above. Um, and it's mounted into plasterboard. And if you look at this one, it's also surrounded by insulation. Now these are using halogen bulbs, so these things get damn hot. Um, sometimes when you're trying to remove the light bulb in one of these, they get snagged. And this is why the cable on the top, you try to pull the light bulb down and because you can't grip it, um, you can't pull this flex back through. As you can see, once the light is actually removed, I can remove it, so I'll, I'll be changing that in a moment. On inspection and testing, whenever I go into a property, I know full well if there's recessed down lights in, in the property, I'm going to be trying my hardest to remove them without damage. And the reason I target these is because they are nine times out of ten not installed correctly. And this is a prime example of what I find on a regular basis. So straight away, you can see the single core insulation. And what I mean by that is the, the brown and the blue cable here, that's the life and the neutral going to the light, that should be concealed within this enclosure. So the grey sheath should go all the way into the enclosure. You should never see the single core insulation. Okay. But what concerns me on this one is the heat's been coming through the holes like it's designed to. It's surrounded in insulation so that the heat's just building up. If you look at this PVC cable here, you'll see that is actually quite flexible. Have a look at this piece here. This has got red hot. That's black tape around there, but it has got very hot. And if I... If I try and flex it, it will move, but sometimes these get so brittle. There we go. There we go. I've just bent it, look. And you can see exactly what's happened there. It's become so brittle that it's just snapped. So I'm going to recorre reconnect this correctly. And then I'll show you how it should look in just a moment. So I've actually noticed before I've um, gone to take this one down that on flexing the cable where it goes into the enclosure it's actually exposed to the, the life conductors. You can see the copper just, just there look. There we go as you can see the grey sheath now goes inside the enclosure with only a, a very small amount of the single core insulation um, showing. The earth sleeve in goes right the way around. I've actually cut the, the earth cable, the CPC, um, just in line with the, the connector blocks around here and then continued the, the sleeve in across. And that's all going to get tied inside the enclosure, so perfectly safe. And then what I'm going to do is that halogen bulb is obviously, uh, obviously blown, so I'll replace that with an LED lamp and then go back to the client advice that um, this is the issue and look to replace all recessed down light halogen bulbs with LEDs. Grey sheath all the way into the enclosure.
plasterboard isn't too strong there. Like I said, on an ele electrical installation condition report, I do target recessed down lights. Um, unfortunately, you have to be very careful. Um, you're not there to cause any damage to the property. So uh, ordinarily, I wouldn't have looked to take this one down. It's only because the light bulb isn't working or wasn't working that it had to come down. Um, and that is why this damage here has been caused. But a little bit of cork cool filler in there and a little touch up with the paint and that will be right as rain. Look at that lovely bright curve on the wall compared to what you've got with the halogen. So that one gets really warm guzzles lots and lots of electricity and still doesn't look anywhere near as bright as this one so there you go that's four and a half watts versus 50 watts one's going to guzzle all your energy and get red hot and possibly burn your house down and this one they so say reckon they're going to last 25,000 hours save you energy consumption and be brighter. Whilst at this property the clients also asked if I'd replace this light for just a, a standard pendant. I'm um, just going to put a nine inch pendant up there uh, in this room and in this room. service that I've started providing for some of my clients is um, when I'm left a key for a property I will provide the service of installing a security key safe for them outside their property in a designated area that they they specify so today let me turn the camera around I'm installing the master lock this is the reinforced version and the, the reason for including this in the video is because <laughs> it's a nightmare to get out of the product. So here's the packaging that it comes in. Um, you, you'd think, if you don't read the back, that you just set it to 0000, zero, zero, zero and pop the lock. No. This one actually has the code on the back of the product, which is concealed behind the casing. And there's a little sticker little circle there and you cut the securing ties and then pop the, the product out and then um, put the code in to release it so just thought I'd include that so I'm now going to secure this in the in the agreed position with the client um, and I'll, I'll show you once it's installed so there we go that's all completed um, that all started from a simple phone call saying, Steve, I've broken my finger, um, I can no longer wash up, and my dishwasher doesn't work. Can you come out and see why it's not working? So that was the, the first thing to deal with. Um, on my first visit, it, it wasn't the isolator switch, so I had to take out the integrated dishwasher, uh, prove that there was power behind that, check the fuse in the plug to the dishwasher, uh, that fuse was fine as well so it, it's now being sent towards a, an appliance engineer not something that I specialize in I'm all for dealing with specialists so I've recommended that either a specialist comes in and diagnoses the fault and repairs it or the item gets replaced um, it, it was an appliance that was there before the, the new owner moved in anyway so it looks as though she'll warm towards replacing it um, from that it was mentioned, Steve, I've, I've tried everything on your, your recess downlighter video. Uh, I cannot get this light bulb out. Can you help me there? So that's why I went and looked at that and found the, um, the cable in that had overheated. Whilst at the property, I noticed there was a smoke alarm down. 
and uh, the client explained that the reason for that is because the, the battery had died and she just couldn't get it back up there. It's a long way up. With my clients, what I like to do is I tell them, don't get up on a ladder. Okay, if, if you need to go up on a ladder, give me a call. Something as simple as a light bulb replacement, I'll quite happily go out and do that. And more often than not, I don't even charge for it. It's just something that is not needed immediately. So it's the sort of job that I can do on my way home or on the way to another job. Um, also, I replaced those two light pendants and fitted the security key safe. Something that I'd like to encourage all tradesmen to do. Um, it's all about, a lot of my jobs are done during the day. Now, we all know that most people go to work in the day. So there's that, that clash. Um, some people just won't let you in their property at all. Some people will warm to you and say, Steve, I've left a key under the bin. The amount of times I've done that, and it, that's fine so long as you're, you're putting the keys back through the letterbox. But there's, you're leaving yourself wide open because if, you, if you're told to put the, the keys back under the, the bin, which I've been told in the past, oh no, I need, I need that set of keys to get back in myself. You're there in the morning, you're putting the keys back under the bin and they're there all day long before the client comes home. It, it, it just doesn't sit right with me. So now what I do is say, look, what I can do is I'll attend the property, I'll collect a key at your convenience. And what I do is once I finish the work, I'll just install a, a security key safe. I'll, I'll pop the keys in there. And what I find works really well with regards to a code is just use the last four digits of their mobile number or home phone number or the last four digits that they supply you with. And it, work, it works really well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I am trying to add more content. I've got loads of content stored on my phone, but it's kind of going through it and producing a decent video. I don't want to produce a video that's just a video for the sake of doing a video. Um, every time I do a video, I want it to be of some use to you. Now, my channel is orientated towards my clients. Um, there are other electricians out there doing vlogs, uh, video diary type things, um, but they're concentrated at the tradesmen. Now, I'm happy if tradesmen want to jump on my channel and share and um, put input towards what I do. That's, that's brilliant. But my channel is targeted towards my clients or potential clients or people that just don't know what it is that they need to be looking for in a tradesman. So, like I said, I hope that's been of some use to you. Be sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.